Chris Anthony here, welcome to another guitar lesson video. Today you're in for a real treat as I show you one of my personal favourite guitar licks. The idea behind this one is very simple, but the execution is probably going to be a little bit challenging. However, it does sound amazing, it's absolutely perfect for those moments you want to have a little bit of a shred over a blues. Now you probably heard it in the intro solo, but here is a close up of the lick, here we go. So that lick is centered around the A minor blues scale, which essentially is the A minor pentatonic, plus the flat five, otherwise known as the blues note. Here it is nice and slow. As I mentioned earlier, the idea behind this lick is really simple. All we're doing is descending through the scale shape from fret 8 of the B string all the way down to the root found at fret 7 of the D string. So here it is nice and slow. So here we have a grouping of six notes and the way I play them in that intro solo is as follows. I first begin by pulling off from fret 8 to 5 on the B string. That's using my fourth finger to my first. We then have three notes on the G string and I use my third finger to play fret 8. My second finger to play fret 7. And this note then pulls off to fret 5 which I use my first finger to play. We then finish off by playing fret 7 of the D string which is your root. And I'm using my second finger to play that note. So picking wise, I use a downstroke for that pull off on the B string. I play an upstroke for fret 8 of the G string, followed by a downstroke for that pull off from fret 7 to 5. I then finish off by playing an upstroke for that root note at fret 7 of the D string. Now in the intro solo, I played that grouping of 6 notes 4 times. Here it is nice and slow. Now, if you're feeling adventurous and want to try developing this idea, you can try exactly what I did in the intro, and that's replacing fret eight of the B string with fret 10. That gives you quite a large stretch, and I'm pulling off from those two notes as well. The rest of the lick remains exactly the same. That fret 10 then becomes fret nine. And I finish off back at the beginning again with fret 8. So here we have a bit of a chromatic pattern whereby that 6 note figure starts at fret 10, then at fret 9, finishing at fret 8. So yeah, this modified version of the lick is quite challenging to play, especially that pull off from fret 10 to 5. It's quite stretched that one. But if you do happen to play this lick in a different key that positions your hand a little bit higher up the fretboard, it will be easier to play because obviously the frets are smaller. You could take uh, the key of E for instance. Definitely much easier to play there. Should have done the whole lesson in that key to be honest. But anyway, here's the full lick up to speed along to a backing track so you can hear how it sounds in a musical context. Here we go. guitar lick you can use to shred over a blues with let me know how you get on with it and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing hitting that like button and I'll see you next time have fun practicing